Come down now. Just a little bit. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna sit, y'all. What's up, y'all? YouTube, I'm back with another video. Wait a minute. And man, y'all, it's been a lot going on. Um, this is something that I'm making an investment into. So, in one token, I do your, I do all y'all explanation on what's going on. But at the same time, like, I be having my own personal stuff going on. <laughs> my own personal life. But, um, man, y'all, these barrel twists be itching. I be beating the stuff out of my head. But, um, that's besides the point. So I did want to do a, a life update and let y'all know why exactly I went to jail. Um, because while I was in jail, people was finding out about it and... I told nobody. So how is the world finding out? <laughs> who's who's spreading my news? No, let me stop. Um, but yeah. So basically I had went to jail. Um, as y'all know, y'all know what I had going on, especially in like previous videos and whatnot. Um I had my own apartment, I was working at Walmart, I had a job. Um, it was all smooth. It was going good. And then, um, let's say I found, um, another hobby. And I felt like that hobby was making a lot more money. Um, but not me, but like, you know, y'all, y'all know where I'm going. Um, so that was going on. I was doing that for a hot minute. Um, until one day I was in Crawfordsville and keep in mind, this was around like January. This is when I had stopped and I started doing DoorDash and Instacart more and I was making good money off that too. Um, real good money. So I'm doing DoorDash and Instacart in Crawfordsville and both of my headlights is out. So I have to use my fog lights. So my fog lights are on. <laughs> And I'm coming out of Kroger during the Instacart. I'm making a turn, a turn. And it was raining though. So the police turns around and they come and pull me over. Boom, I get pulled over. So I'm sitting there like, you know, I didn't do nothing. Um, he, he was like, yeah, you didn't see the sand back there? I was like, nah, it, it was it was raining. Um, you can't really see much. I had my wipers and everything on. You just couldn't see because it, it was raining pretty heavy. Um, he was like, oh, okay. So it was like, boom. He had pulled me over because of that and the headlights. But then when I rolled down my window, it smelled like. But the only reason why it smelled like that is because of my, my uh, personal mechanic. Um, I had just recently got my car back and he had in it. So um, when he did that in there, I was like, oh. Uh, you know, there was not really much I could do besides like spray or something. So boom, I'm I'm telling them that they doing they doing a search of the car. Keep in mind, y'all, it's folks groceries in there. I was going to my parents to show them these outfits that I have for these photo shoots and stuff. Eight hundred dollar Burberry's in the back seat. Um, I had some Supreme Nikes. Yeah, I had like some I had some items in there. So they going and they searching the car. The sheriff, the canine unit, pull up. He didn't even bring the canine out the car. Me and him are standing there. We're talking, having a conversation. While these two smart fellows are searching my car. And you can't find nothing. Because he was like, do you have anything in the vehicle before we go in it? I'm like, no, there's nothing in the vehicle. Besides the smell. And then I had like little baggies and stuff, but they was empty. But um, 
I had two other baggies in my glove box that was from a while ago. Um, <clears throat> that had had in it. You feel me? So, boom, they go take um everything. They're like, yeah, we're taking this all as contraband. I'm like, okay, this finna be one and done. This finna be over. So I did forget to say this while I was recording the video. The reason why I had mentioned about um dumb items being in the back seat was because when I got back in the car, um dump, the stuff that I had was like really expensive. So I go back in the car and my stuff is like my Burberry box is like ripped up. My shoe box is ripped up. Like when they was in their car searching, like they didn't care about what I had in the car. Like they were just like ripping through my stuff. Um, like they were just being, it, it, it was ignorant to me. But yeah, I just, I wanted to say that. Um, I was at the crib and I applied for this job at FedEx to be a driver. Cause I'm 21 now. So boom, I apply the background check, get back. The background check talking about some, uh, uh, oh yeah, something about a misdemeanor. I'm like misdemeanor. What are you What are you talking about? And it was a pending warrant, so their warrant was pending for quite a while. By the way, um, I had ended up calling the sheriff and them, cause I'm like, I know I didn't do nothing, and I know I didn't get caught. And that's another thing, for the people that are assuming I got caught. I did not get caught. I didn't have anything in that car. I was just in a very racist town at the time. Because that town is full of... You feel me? And I'm not trying to come off as... Me not liking that kind. But it's just like... It was bound to happen. If that makes sense. Like... They was looking for a reason to take me to jail. Because they didn't have no reason to actually do a field test. You could have just left it alone. But y'all have no crime in y'all town. Y'all don't have nothing to do. So what do you do? You go do a field test so that you could get another black man in jail. But that's a different story for another day. Back to the actual story at hand. So, yeah, that happens. So now I'm sitting in the house waiting. Uh, I'm talking to everybody. They're like, yeah, you didn't get arrested that day. And they didn't give you a ticket. So there's no reason for them to take you to jail until like what was it two weeks later my parents was like yeah the police just came by the house they was looking for you they were looking for cyrus williams jr <laughs> so now i'm i'm texting my friends they're talking about some let us scoop let us scoop like we'll scoop you we'll scoop you like we they, we trying to plan something get out the jam i'm like nah like i i know i didn't do nothing and I'm not going to run. Like, I want to turn myself in. Plus, if you turn yourself in, instead of them having to come and search for you and you're hiding and you're running, it's a better look. Now, y'all might think like, oh, he just being a goody two shoes. No, I didn't do anything. So I'm going to go and turn myself in. There's no point in me running. So boom, I get to, um, my dad come school me, pick me up. I go turn myself in. The officer that was petty and took the contraband, he was there. That man's watch me get arrested, bro. And when I tell you, like, I don't know if maybe I was tweaking, but I, like, looked at him. And he was like, yeah, is your dad going to go down, you know, like, to the precinct? He going to be there to, like, pick you up because they had gave me bond. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I hope so. Y'all, like, it, it took everything in me to, like, not be a smart. You feel me? Because it was just like... I didn't want to make my situation worse than what it was. Like, I, I'm really just a simple person. I try to keep the situation real simple, but it's just certain things that, like, make my skin itch, aggravate me, that, like, take it to a different level. So I, I low-key was aggravated that he stood there and, like, watched me get arrested like that. Um, or when the dude was putting cuffs on me, it was almost like he was happy. Maybe I was tweaking, but I don't, like, I, 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 I be knowing what's going on in people's mind. And some people are sick and they mad. And that man, he was happy that I was going to jail. Like, he was standing there watching me get arrested, drinking a Gatorade. Like, what, what's your what's your deal? Like, that's you're you're weird. So that's going on. 
Um, so then I get to jail. You know, do we do the filing process? I take the mugshot. And that, that, that mugshot was clean. Don't even, don't even play with a boy. You know, that mugshot was clean. Come on now. All right. All right. All right. But, um, nah. Um, took the mugshot. Um, y'all, do not go to jail. Because, like, I got there while he's booking me. I had to stand at the edge of a desk in a handcuff while he booked me. Then, um, I had to let them know I was vegetarian. But I'm just going to explain it as what actually happened. <laughs> so, he booked me. Um, I go and put my clothes on. Um, I go to the little room. He's like, yeah, here's your um, your clothes. Orange underwear, orange suit. And then they give me some slides that's like brand new. So, now I'm walking in these hard, plastic, stiff, bone shoes. I can't even move my feet. So, he go and do my fingerprints and all that stuff and whatnot. I got a misdemeanor on my record, by the way. This is not, like, a big deal. But, you know, I... I wanted a clean record, but, you know, things happen. That's besides the point. But, um, you know, they take me to my cell. So, I'm thinking I'm going to be in there for a few hours. Somebody going to come knock on the door and be like, yeah, you know, you got bailed out. You know, did somebody put something on your bond? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm sitting in there. No phone calls. I received no phone calls from nobody. And it's, it's for the people that did try to call me and was trying to call me. I already know the situation. But, you know, I think it was only like, it was Lala, Jalen, my mom, my dad, was, oh, and Deuce, was really the only people that was trying to put money on my books. Everybody else was kind of like, oh, you know, because like, for the people that know me, like, I'm not even the type of person to be willing and dealing. Like, that's not the type of household I had to even be trying to live that lifestyle. But, you know, sometimes you get caught up with certain things and you want fast money, you want better money. Um, it was my situation that had led me into doing that. Um, it, it was It was almost like it's almost like sex. Once you start, you can't stop. Because it's like, it feel good to have your money right there when you need it. KD, seven. Um, It was really good money. I made a lot of money. Um, But yeah, like the food that they was feeding me, I told them I was vegetarian multiple times. They don't really care. Um, They still going to give you food with meat on the plate. Um, the drinks that they was feeding us, they was giving me cow's milk. I don't drink cow's milk. Um, they also gave this other juice. It was supposed to be grape juice, but it had no sweetness. It had no flavor. Um, Y'all sitting in that cell, that's a whole different... I can say is don't go to jail because it's just you and your thoughts. <laughs> it's just you and your thoughts. It was a camera in the cell, so you and your thoughts in the camera. <laughs> um, while I was in there, the only thing I could do was pray, work out. Um, I was in there for like three days if you actually do the math everybody else gonna be like oh you was only in there for two days you are dramatic you go sit in there for the time i spent in there and tell me how you feel um that's why i don't like people telling me their opinion because until you've lived it and done it bro don't say nothing to me like i don't i don't want to hear all that but um yeah and then, what was it? It was like, yeah, you go get a tablet. 
and stuff. I was like, oh, tablet in jail? Oh, okay. So, you know, because the only person that I was doing the jail call with was Lala. She was the only one that could answer the call. Because, <laughs> you know, when you do the jail call, you got to pay for it. So, she's actively on the phone, like, paying for these jail calls, trying to talk to me. Shout out to uh, Lala, Jalen, my mom, my dad, and Deuce, by the way, for um, that, that energy. I, I definitely appreciate y'all even. Y'all know, I ain't gonna speak on too much, but, um, <laughs> yeah, so, I had, what was it, Tuesday morning, I didn't know that I had a court date until that day, because I was doing, um, pull my neck, uh, um, <laughs> So I found out I got court. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I think I'm not gonna go sit in the courtroom, but it was just me that had a court date that morning. So I had went and did it through a Zoom. So this was my first court session. And I was mad confused because I had talked to my PD before, you know, I had went to the, to the judge and everything. So I go, and talk to the PD and she's like, yeah, you're gonna admit guilty and you're gonna get out on, you're just gonna have a charge, you're gonna have a misdemeanor. I was like, okay, cool. Um, and then you're just gonna have to pay some fees and stuff like that. I was like, okay, that's 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 smooth, that's not bad. But she was like, or, you know, you could wait for like an actual lawyer or an attorney and they could fight for you so that way you could have a clean record. But there's no telling how long you're gonna have to sit back in that cell. I was not going back in that cell. I was not going back in that cell. I was not going back in that cell. So I took the charge and I, um, I had ended up getting out that morning. And um, y'all, when I tell y'all, like I wasn't in there for that long, but like to have to sit in there for the time that I did, it felt like forever. When I tell y'all, I got home and I hugged my mom so hard because I felt like, I felt like I had let some people down because that's, that's not, that's not my lifestyle. That's not what I do, but you know, I'm a businessman and I like money. I like fast money, you know, so that's what I did. Am I proud of it? No. Was I good at it? Yes. Did karma get me back for finessing some people? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and that is not funny. Um, there's another video for another day. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just wanted to update y'all and tell y'all that. And that was my little experience in jail. Like, it was, I wanted to make it a bit brief, but... <laughs> You know, I had went and I made a post on Facebook apologizing to my teachers, my family, my mentors, because I, like I said, people are finding out about me going to jail. Ow. I, like I just said, I didn't tell nobody who's who's yapping their gums. <laughs> so, um, when I made a post and I'm like, you know, telling my teachers and mentors, I'm like apologizing and whatnot. And people are like, no. You don't owe us no apology, you know. You just need to learn from your mistakes. It's not about the mistake you made. It's about, you know, how you come back from it. And I was like, yeah. And it was um, it was a little bit more to the post. Um, people that had commented and texted me privately. But it was, huh, I'm, I'm gonna speak on it because I, I genuinely feel like it was just some weird coincidence. But Lala is saying she don't think it's that. <laughs> when I had posted my mug shot, and I posted everything that I had posted. Um, some some dude, I ain't even gonna get him the, I ain't even gonna say his name because he don't even deserve that much credit. Some dude posted, he was like, yeah, we crashed, something about crashing out this young. Keep in mind, like, that's a whole, that's also another story for another day. Um, you, you, it, I just don't feel like it was a coincidence that I post my mugshot. You barely post on Facebook, and when you do, like, you're 
rarely ever on there. So why all of a sudden are you now making this post? I feel like it was a subliminal and maybe it was a shot, but Lala was like, you know what, Cyrus, you wasn't tagged, you wasn't added, so don't give it no attention. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna leave it alone. So I had left it alone. What's this thing? Where? Oh. This dude really be like making me so angry, bro. But yeah, um, it was just a lot, y'all. From the um, it was subliminals and it was all type of stuff. I was hot headed, you know, about the post but then I just had let it go because I told myself this year when I um when I turned 21 since I'm gonna be an adult like I didn't want to argue with people and I actually been standing on that um like if we if we not getting in the field I don't want to argue I'm like you don't look like you don't, you don't look like you get in the field I ain't gotta look like I get in the field The feel getting me, <laughs> but um, yeah, nah, I'm gonna sit like this because it's, yeah, like it's, I'm getting comfortable because it's hot. Um, it was just a crazy experience. That whole month of February was like super bad for me. I had situations going on on both sides of my family. Um, it was also my 21st birthday. Um, I had ended up losing my car, losing my apartment. I basically lost everything because of that jail situation. But I really think that it was all a part of God's purpose because he knew that I was headed down a dark path. So I feel like that's the reason why everything played out the way that it did. Um, and I'm glad it played out that way because I was able to get like a small experience of what could happen if I kept going. And if I actually would have got caught with like whole zips and and large quantities of weed. Cause I, I was driving, you like, you were goofy. I was, one time I was driving around, I had like three zips in my glove box. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> It was just, it was so much, y'all. But that, that's my life update. Um, I'm currently up, back up north. I'm not in Indianapolis no more. Um, I just got my old job back recently. They gonna um, hire me back. And um, yeah, that's my little update. But um. Move me out where Jalen and Chase and I still got a bunch of things that I still got to settle that are not settled. So I'm just trying to figure it all out. actually just get to sit down and think about everything that you went through you just be thanking God I thank God that I went through it so that I never do it again but I also thank God that I went through it so that I could share my story with other people so yeah. I'm glad I got to share my story and my experience with y'all. Um, I just wanted to keep it real brief. I didn't want to get too emotional about it because I, I do feel heavily about the subject. But I just wanted to, um, thought y'all deserve to know that. And um, if you are doing that, um, just be safe doing it. 
if you could get out of doing it, just stop doing it because it, it will catch up to you. Um, Cause I don't want to tell somebody else how to live their life, but you know, if I could, I don't want nobody going through what I went through. So I just try to spread awareness. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you are doing it, be safe doing it. If you can get out of doing it and finding something else to do. By all means, go find there's something else to do. But, you know, if that's what you want to do and that's what you have to do in order to provide for yourself and your family, like, nobody's judging. I'm not judging because I understand. Uh, I feel like I have been through a lot at a very young age. And it's just, I think it's just molding me, helping me and guiding me. in a better direction so that way I could get to where it is that I want to be. But yeah, YouTube, y'all let me know what y'all think about my little story in the comments down below. Y'all let me know if y'all um if y'all want another video, if y'all want a part two, if y'all want a more descriptive story, um, definitely like talk to me, ask me some questions, give me some feedback. Um, yeah, that's all for today's video. I just wanted to chop it up with you guys. Um, yeah, definitely an experience, but hey, you gotta go through something. Um, guess I'll catch y'all in the next few videos. Um, me and the gang got something planned, so, so. Hopefully we can um, get that going, but I'll catch y'all in the next video.